I'm going to show you how to create advanced UI for your VR application. In the last UI video, we learned how to do basic pointers. In this one, we will add the ability to hover, drag, drop, and click on 2D as well as 3D objects. Let's get started. So the first thing that we want to do is import UI helpers and set our canvas to OVR Raycaster. And if you don't know how to do that, then I'll link the video. I did it previously and you can go ahead and watch that and get to this point. After that, you want to go to project settings and you want to declare two layers. For layer six, you want to put UI Collider and for layer seven, Pointer. Then you want to go to physics and you want to set the interactions. So Pointer interacts with everything and UI Collider only interacts with Pointer. Next, you want to go to the UI helpers and you want to go to the sphere and you want to add a sphere collider component. And then you want to set it to its trigger. And as you can see, it automatically adjusts to the size of the sphere. And then you want to change the layer of the sphere to pointer. And then you want to zoom out. And then we're going to go to our canvas. And as you can see, it has the OVR Raycaster. We're going to go ahead and add some elements to it. Now, as you can see, we've set the event camera and to center eye anchor, and that's also in the previous video. So we're going to go and add an image and we'll call it image one. And then we're going to add the source image and we're just going to add one of the images that I imported into my project. And from there, I'm going to resize it into a bigger size. After that, I'm going to go to my images folder. And as you can see, those are the images that I imported. And you want to make sure that texture type is Sprite 2D and UI, and then click apply if you just changed it. Then you want to go on your image and create an empty object. And we're going to call it Collider. And you're going to set the layer of this Collider to UI Collider and add a box Collider element and then edit this Collider. And the thing we want to do over here is just make the collider fit the whole picture. So when we point to it, the sphere or the pointer will interact with this collider. And if you set it to 2D, as you as I did in the editor, it will make it much easier to scale this collider to fit the image perfectly. And then we're going to set it to its trigger and we're going to add another component, which is a rigid body. And we're going to check is kinematic and remove use gravity and the collision detection to continue with speculative. After that, we're going to add another element to our image and it's going to be another image and we're going to call it description. And this box is basically going to be the box that we add the text with the description of the image to. So I'm going to choose dialogue for the background. You can choose whatever you want. And I'm going to increase the width and height and go ahead and move it outside. Increase the width and height a little bit more. And then we're going to go and add a text mesh pro under it. If you didn't import the package yet, go ahead and import it rename it to text and then you can put anything that you want under for as a description for the image. And then I'm just going to adjust the text so it looks better and it fits the box. After that, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this image object. And now we have three images, image one, two, and three. And I just changed the source image and the description to different things. And then in the scripts, I want to go ahead and make two scripts, one called VR UI operations and another one called trig exit. And these are going to be the scripts that we use to access those events with hovering. Then we're going to go to our VR UI operations script and going to put using unity engine dot events delete the start and update function and declare a unity event called on enter. 
and another one called on, on exit for when our pointer enters and exits. And then we're going to put on trigger enter. And then we're going to put trig exit dot instance dot current collider equals get component VR UI operations. And if you have an error, that's fine because we will make it the script and edit it and it will fix that after this. And then we're going to put on enter dot invoke. And then finally go to our trig exit object. I mean, sorry, script. And then we're going to put public static trig exit instance. And then public VR UI operations current collider. And we're going to hide it in inspector. And then in the awake function, we're going to put if instance equals null. Instance equals this. And then we're going to put on the disable function, current collider dot on enter dot invoke. I'm sorry, on exit dot invoke. And that what basically that does is when we disable the sphere, it's going to invoke on exit. And now we can go back to Unity. Now that we're back in Unity, we're going to go ahead and select all of our colliders. And we're going to add our VR UI operations component that we just created. And then in there, we're going to add a function for on enter and on exit. So starting with the first collider, we want to put the description as the object on enter, and then we're going to go to game object, set active and true, because we want to enable the description when we hover over it. And do the same thing but set active and leave it empty. So that means set it to false when we exit. And then I'm just gonna go and do the same thing with other two colliders. In that way, we can hover over each one of them and it will show its own description. Then we wanna go to our sphere and we wanna add the trig exit component. We're now ready to go and test in the headset. As you can see, we are now in the headset and we now have our paintings and we can point at them and you can see that the description appears right next to them. And as soon as you remove the pointer, the description disappears. And that's because of our VR UI operations and the trig exit script. So let's learn how to do more with 3D objects. Let's go back to Unity. Now that we're back in Unity, we want to go ahead and create some 3D objects. So let's go ahead and create a cube, a sphere, and finally a capsule. And then I'm going to go ahead and adjust their positions and put them on the wall far away from each other. And then go to our materials folder and create three materials with different colors so we can assign them to our objects. One red, one green, and one blue. And then I can just drag them onto my objects. After that, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our OVR camera rig and we're going to add something called OVR physics raycaster so we can interact with 3D objects using the pointer. And for the event mask, we're going to put the UI collider layer. And then we're going to go to our scripts and create another script. And we're going to call it drag UI, which is going to be in charge of dragging these 3D objects. We want to go ahead and delete the start and update function and then create public transform pointer and a public Boolean X and Y and Z, and those are going to be responsible for dragging across each one of these axes. So if we set them to true, then that means we can drag the object across the certain axis. Then we're going to go to public void and create a function called public void drag float and then float new X. And we're going to set this float to pointer.position.x if X is enabled. And if not, then we're going to keep it in the same position, which is transform.position.x. 
and after that we're gonna replicate this but with y and with the z and lastly we're gonna assign transform.position to our new vector 3 with our new x new y and new z then we're just gonna remove these two lines now that we're back in unity we can go ahead to our cube sphere and capsule and add an event trigger and then in the cube event trigger we're going to add pointer click which means when we click on it the following is going to happen we're going to add the cube object and then go to our game to our mesh renderer and then material we're going to set the material to green when we click on it Then we're going to go to our sphere and then we're going to add a new event type drag and from there we want to go ahead to our sphere and capsule because we want to be dragging them so we want to add the script that we just created the drag ui and then we can go ahead and drag the sphere from our ui helpers under the pointer object Finally, we're going to go into our sphere and then from there we can enable Y because we just want to drag it up and down across the Y axis, add sphere and then drag. And then do the same thing with the capsule. We're going to go ahead and select drag and then from there we want to put the capsule drag UI dot drag and we want to be able to drag it in 2D across the wall so we're going to select the Z and the Y finally we want to go ahead and select all three of our objects and we want to put them in the UI collider layer we are now ready to go test in the headset now that we're in the headset we can go to our cube and when we click on it it changes color we can also go to our sphere and drag it up and down across the Y axis because that's what we selected in our drag UI script. And finally, when we go to our capsule, we can move it across the Y and the Z because we selected both in our drag UI script. If you liked this video and found it useful, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what video you would like next. Thank you for watching.